Hey, what's up everyone? In this new project, we're gonna make an RFID door lock system using the RFID module that we have talked about in the previous video. You will be able to open up the door using the smart RFID card. Also, we will have this LCD display that displays this message, scan your tag. If you have the right one, the solenoid door lock opens automatically for five seconds if we have the wrong one, you will get this warning and the access denied message. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. And let's jump right into it. So in today's episode, you're gonna need an Arduino Uno the RFID module and it is called RFID RC522 I've created a video that explains how it works basically we can use it to identify the ID of this card so that we can open up the door lock when we have the right one I will add a link to the video under the description we're gonna use this LCD display to inform the user whether he has access or not we're gonna use this breadboard so that we can connect these LEDs and the buzzer finally you will need a solenoid door lock which could be opened by powering it up with 12 volts so let's check if it's working I'm gonna connect it to the 12 volts power supply and as you can see we can open up the door lock and close it but we are going to control it using this relay which is used to control high voltage devices because the Arduino can't provide 12 volts to this solenoid door lock we're gonna use this one as an electric switch I've already created a video about relays and how they work make sure to check it out first of all let's see how to connect all of these components you could download this project from the link under the description it is called RFID door lock under this folder you will find the circuit schematics like how to connect the RFID module to the Arduino board the LCD display that comes with the I2C module and the other components like the relay, the LEDs and the buzzer first of all let's start with the RFID module as you can see we have few pins that needs to be connected to the Arduino board for example we have the G and D pin which goes to the GND of the Arduino the VCC is 3.3 volts make sure to connect it to the 3.3 volts of the Arduino now you could pause the video and connect all of the pins we have the RFID pins STA, SCK and so on and the digital pins that you need to connect to for me I've already connected the RFID module using these male to female jumper wires and once you do that, we can move on to the other component, which is the LCD display. So this LCD display comes with this I2C module, which could be controlled using these four pins. And these four pins are the GND, which goes to the GND of the Arduino, the VCC to the 5 volt pin. Also, we have the SDA, goes to the SDA of the Arduino. So this pin is labeled SDA and the SCL of the module goes to the SCL of the Arduino. Then we're going to use the liquid crystal I2C library which allows you to display any text on this LCD display using just one command which is println. And because we have lots of components we have to create a ground rail and a 5 volts rail. But the breadboard that I have is a little bit different we can connect the G and D of the Arduino to one of the points to create a ground rail the same thing for the VCC I've connected the 5 volt pin of the Arduino to this point and here we have this gap because these two blocks are separate actually you could use the analog pin A4 as the SDA pin and the SCL we can connect it to the analog pin A5 Finally, we have the other components like the LEDs and the buzzer as well as the relay. 
let's start with the relay basically it's an electrically operated switch which we can turn on and off or activate it to connect it or disconnect these two leads so that we can power up the solenoid and open it up and this pin is called the signal pin that controls the relay I'm gonna use the digital pin number two then we have the green LED we have to connect the positive lead to the digital pin number three and the other side of the LED which is the shorter leg goes to the ground then we'll be able to turn it on and off using the digital write command the same thing for the red LED we're gonna connect the positive lead or the anode pin to digital pin number four and the other lead goes to the ground of course you will need two ohm resistors to protect these LEDs I'm using a 220 ohm resistor but 300 is gonna be okay finally I will add the buzzer so that we can make a warning when we have the wrong tag which I'm gonna control using the digital pin number five and the other lead goes to the ground so the same thing make sure to pause the video and connect the other components I'm not going to record this process because it's gonna be a little bit long and here's the final result I've connected the LEDs and the buzzer now we're gonna upload the code to the Arduino board so that we can bring this project to life and I'm not going to use the solenoid or lock we can know whether this relay is activated or not using its built-in LED let's close this image and we have the sketch it is called rfid.lock let's open it up using the Arduino IDE first of all you have to install two libraries that this sketch needs the first one is called MFRC522 to control the RFID module and the second library is the liquid crystal underscore I2C that allows you to control the LCD display and display different messages to install these libraries you could use the library manager by going to tools then manage libraries and search for the first name which is MFRC522 I've already installed this library by github community and the version is 1.4.10 once you hit the install button we can search for the other library liquid crystal i2c by Marco Schwartz make sure to install it using the install button then we can upload the code but before that we have to know the ID of the card that we're gonna use as the key of our door lock system so each card or RFID card has its unique ID that we can print on the serial monitor using this library and to do that we have an example sketch that comes with this library using file examples and under the MFRC we have this damp info and this sketch is gonna print all of the information about the card that you put in front of the RFID reader let's upload it to the Arduino board but first of all make sure to plug the USB cable then let's hit upload once it's done uploading we have to open up the serial monitor using tools serial monitor and let's take one of the tags like the RFID card so this card has a microchip that contains all of the information like the ID that we're gonna take when you put it in front of the RFID reader we have all of the information printed including the one kilobyte of memory that you could use for other purposes and the cart UID I'm gonna take it using Ctrl C so that we can use it for the other sketch the same thing if you put this tag or any other card you will have other information including the one kilobyte of memory and the new ID of the tag so I will just use the card then let's close the sketch and we have to put our access UID under this variable that is called master basically it's an array which consists of four bytes I'm gonna use Control V to paste our access ID and let's separate these with a comma because it's an array 
and we have to tell the Arduino IDE that these numbers are in hexadecimal by adding 0x before each of these numbers. And that's all what you have to change. Then we have the other variables like the relay pin, which is number 2, the green LED, the red LED, and so on. If you want to use other pins, make sure to change these numbers. And let's upload this code, which will check for the tag. And if it's the right one, it will open up the door lock by activating the relay module. Before that, make sure to select the right board using tools. And under board, I've already selected the Arduino Uno because I have an Arduino Uno. Then select the port of the USB cable. And let's upload this sketch. And once we put the right card, which is this one, the relay is activated for 5 seconds. We have the green LED turns on. And if I put the wrong one, like this tag, we have this warning, and the relay is not activated. We have the message access guaranteed. Now that we know that our project is working, I'm going to explain how I've connected the solenoid door lock to the other side of the relay. Here we have our 12 volts power supply. Basically, we have to connect one wire directly to the solenoid wire, like the ground. It doesn't matter which one you use. And the other connection will be controlled by the normally open circuit. So these two wires will be disconnected. And once we activate the relay by outputting 5 volts, it's going to close this circuit. And the normally open circuit becomes closed. And that activates the solenoid door lock by connecting the positive lead to the positive lead of the power supply. Now let's test it again. I'm going to put the right card and the solenoid door lock is activated for 5 seconds but if someone else comes with another tag he will get this warning without any access so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one